Hello, I'm Reva Godfrey. Welcome to a very romantic episode of Cooking With Your Mouth. Today, I'm going to be making my mouth-made beetroot pancakes. First, we start with beetroots. There are no blenders in my kitchen, so I'll use all of my 33 teeth to pulse the beetroot into a fine paste. I've heard these are the new beef, full of nitric acid to get you all excited. Now for the blending of flour, baking powder and milk in my mouth. As simple as making a wallpaper paste and it really rather moisturises your mouth. Perfect. I recently devised a rather innovative plan for preparing eggs with the mouth. What I'm going to do is bite off either end of the egg and like a reverse vacuum, simply blow it out. Do be careful not to chip a tooth, because it really will ruin your mix. Bullseye. If your mouth grows tired, it is okay to use your hand as a whisk. Start to see these amazing colours coming together into a vibrant, romantic pink. Sounds a little bit naughty. It's almost like I'm wearing a pink glove. My love gloves, if you will. Grease your pan with a knob of butter. For this part, I'd like to see your best pout. Take a large gulp of the mix, line up your nose with the centre of the frying pan and turn out a heart-shaped pancake. The perfect blend of sweet and savoury for all of your sizzling desires. Be true to yourself. Now it's time to garnish. I've got myself some lovely plump blueberries and some English pomegranate seeds. And now for a drizzle of sweetness. I'm going to plunge my fist into the honey. I recommend going about five centimetres deep. And use my hand like a magic wand to adorn the plate. I call this the Jackson Pollock. There we go. Finish with a piece of mint. Clean your hands. And now there's only one thing left to do. Try them. I like to split mine down the middle and roll it up with some fruit, a little like a lilo. And there we go. My mouth-made, mouth-watering beetroot pancakes. 